Okay. Can we start? Yeah. Okay. So uh, this this is just a you know weekend project. Um, the uh, there's one day I thought I'm going to build it. So um, it's a child pay. So you know compared with all the master talking about all the fancy uh, uh, fancy stuff, OS level, you know this is just a you know just a fun project. So. Um, Which button? Oh, it's here. So, <coughs> where, where is the star? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, this, I think this is my third time here. Um, I noticed one thing that 80% uh, of people here know each other. So I'm new. So I thought I'm, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit. So my name is Henry Jung, and I'm uh, a tinker, blogger, whatever. So tinker because I, you know, I, I make things, and most of the time I break things, all things electronic. Uh, blogger because I, 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 have, I, I run a website, my own website, on a Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi. So it's been three years, just some hobby stuff, you know, like my project and things I want to write, so I just write it. So you can take a look on if you, you have a time. Um, my background is radio electronic and uh, embed microcomputer. So that was like 30, 40 years ago, 30 years ago. Uh, so nowadays I also do software uh, development and with uh, all this language in that particular uh, you know, uh, sequence. Um, I think, I'm sure many people have that experience. Now my TV remote got spoiled by the, the <laughs> leaking battery. So no matter how I clean it, it doesn't work anymore, right? It is it's intermittent. So one day I think, say, why don't I just build a, a IR remote using, I can use my iPhone to control it. So, uh, and, and uh, so I think about uh, what MCU I'm going to use. So um, this February, I happened to be in Hong Kong and then crossed the border, went to uh, Hua Chiang Bay. So I bought a whole bunch of, uh, you know, uh, mostly impulse buy. So just buy, buy, buy. So I bought three ESP32, so I'm, I'm going to use it. And then when I bargain with the guy, uh, say, you know, I, I want discount, he reluctant to give me, so he give me, eventually he gave me a S, HHT21, the temperature sensor. So I'm going to use this as well. <laughs> so I, I'm sure everybody know about ESP32, right? So there's no need to, to introduce here. Uh, one thing I like is that there's a four, four mega uh, uh, fresh memory inside there. So that you, can, you can put in a lot of stuff there, uh, including graphic and everything. So. Uh, to build the IR trans, uh, controller, I need the, the transmitter and receiver. So I just find a, 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 a setup box, old box. I, you know, take, take out the, the, the transmitter and receiver. And then use that trans, uh, receiver, I do the decoding to get all the code for, for my TV remote control. Um, turned out that I, my setup box is using an NEC standard and then the TV is uh, of course Samsung, so they use their pro protocol. <coughs> so to control a IR is very simple. You just send out the modulation and then turn the LED on and off. That's very simple. And then that uh, sensor is actually I squared C, so uh, nothing fancy. So everybody know here here know how to do it. But you, you need a web server in order to control it to to use it on the on the uh, iPhone or you know control the phone. So here is my diagram. So um, you uh, use a ESP32 to run the web server. So um, and then listen to the the request, uh, get request, post request, and all that. 
So uh, basically, there are two requests. One is the uh, <coughs> the get request to get a temperature reading from from this uh, ESP32, and um, all the button you press on the iPhone is using uh, a post request and to send it send it from the client back to the to the uh, ESP32 server, and then the server will decode that uh, based on the button you press. Send all the control. So, so, uh, so this is the address that you can you can uh, for the for the for the web server, and then with a little bit HTML, a little bit CSS, and uh, eventually the portal look like this. So on the iPhone. So uh, this is all just purely HTML. Uh, uh, and the CSS, and, uh, and also I can save the the web page as an icon on the on the iPhone. So you, you later you can see 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 from my phone or then uh, using the JavaScript uh, to put up the uh, set the event listener to listen to the two uh, uh, requests. So the get temperature is generated from the uh, the client. So set every minute. So every one minute, it will send the request to the server, and then the server will send back the temperature and the humidity. Um, every button you press is sent through a post request, uh, post slash uh, API, uh, just for fun. So uh, it will send back. This is more for humans, so it's a, we, I understand which one, what this button means. The other one is the code. They use a code to as an index and then to to get the uh, IR code. The um, you see you have a JavaScript, you have a, you have a, a CSS, you have index HTML, all the file, and even the icon, uh, graphic image. So all those files, how you know, uh, store in the MCU. So uh, turn out that ESP32, there's one, uh, the fresh memory is using the SPI uh, FFS. Uh, it's it's look like a, a file system, but actually it's not. It's just a, a flat um, a file system. So what happened is that you have a directory called data. Uh, Inside, uh, inside is actually not the uh, directory. So if you within the directory, there's an index uh, HTML file. What happens is that it actually save, save the file as a data slash index HTML. Uh, so it look to the human, it look like a, a, a directory, but actually it's not. Uh, in order to to uh, Upload this data. You need a special um, Arduino plugin uh, that provide by the ESP32. So the, uh, as long as you put in all the data you want to upload into a data file, uh, into a data directory, then you can upload everything into it. <coughs> On the server side, um, basically I already talked about is that basically there's three three different routes. So when when the route is called yeah, for the for the roots, it's actually served out from the the SPI uh, FFS as a static content. So uh, no need to to pass to the to the to the server. Uh, then for these two routes, you will have a, a, a callback function to handle that. So um, the hardware. I have a, a earphone box, so I just use that earphone box and put everything in, inside. Uh, so this is the whole thing. <coughs> and then I solder the uh, transistor, everything on the back of the ESP32. Uh, so it make it very compact. I will talk about the, the pro and con of this. Uh, it turned out have, there are some problem with, with this. And this is the final part that, that look like uh, this. Hey. 
So I, I make a video to just uh, demonstrate these things work. So there's a standard uh, C++, uh, not using Rust. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a, this is this is a box that you just put there. Uh, the distance wise, I try to control the 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 uh, the, the million. So I keep about within the range about two two meter. That's fine. So uh, I don't want to use overuse the uh, the power. So this thing work. So you, you get the idea. So <laughs> got a time timing issue, so I just go back to the PowerPoint. <coughs> so uh is So what happened to this whole thing? So, turn out that using the AAA battery is not a good idea because uh, the power consumption of the ESP32. So, uh, um, so the AAA battery used about 24 hours to finish. <laughs> so I, I'm still trying to see that I don't really want to use a charger or something there. there. So I still try to think uh, maybe I should hack the set-top box and then use that USB drive and then to give me power or something. The other problem I have is that um, the, uh, the power, the battery, the sen temperature sensor on top of it turned out to be the, uh, because of the ESP32 can be very hot, sometimes like 50 degree, uh, you touch it, so you feel it. So it heat up the box, like uh, sometimes I see the temperature like a 5 degree higher the actual, uh, the actual temperature. So, uh, you know, you learn something. Uh, that, that's that's a uh, you know, the purpose of learning. Uh, so, I, I have more detail on, the, on my website and also the, uh, all the source code is on the GitHub. So, thank you. Thank you.